From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Again, we do have this blowing dust advisory in place for the basin from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. as some of these winds could gust between 20 to 35 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and look at the radar for this morning and we do have some showers over the Puget Sound. This is associated with the storm system that will bring us the winds and the showers and the thunderstorms. So we'll go ahead and show you that with future casts. We're going to put this into motion and come time for 12 p.m. I'm thinking that future cast is running a little bit behind because I'm thinking into the early afternoon. This is when we could start to see some showers and thunderstorms for the valleys and then into 4 p.m. 5 p.m. That's when I think we're going to start to see some impacts for the basin and for the foothills. And then into the 6 to 7 o'clock hour, that's probably when we'll start to clear out for the valleys. By midnight, that's when we'll start to clear out in all likelihood for the basin. But we could have some showers left over for the foothills until the wee hours of the morning on Thursday. And then after that, Thursday should be pretty dry for most of us, except up in the Cascades. There's another little impulse that's going to move through. That could bring some showers to the Cascades, but the likelihood of those showers surviving to the east of the Cascades, that's a pretty low end chance. So for today, in addition to the winds and the showers and the thunderstorms, it's going to be warm out there. We'll be about 5 to 10 degrees above average. And then for tonight, noticeably colder in the wake of this cold front passing. We'll be down into the 40s and 50s, maybe even some 30s for some localized spots in the Yakima Valley. We should be much drier after today. Also much cooler. Some very fall like weather over the next seven days. A little bit warmer for Friday and Saturday, but I think you get the gist. Here's a seven day forecast for the Tri Cities. Showers and storms possible this afternoon and evening, and then dry and fall like for Thursday and beyond. And then for the Yakima Valley, showers and thunderstorms ending early this evening, dry with sunshine and highs in the 70s after Thursday. For Ellensburg, we'll have strong wind gusts today, calming down by Thursday, and then beautiful and seasonal weather this weekend and into next week. For Hermiston, wet weather is possible this afternoon and evening, but will be calm and cooler. We'll have calm and cooler weather, that is, after Thursday. And then for Walla Walla, we'll have some showers possible left over early on Thursday morning, but otherwise it will be sunny and in the 70s for the foreseeable future.